Urge you guys, so I've been kind of, you know, not uploading quite as much lately because I've been really, really busy. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving you guys back-to-back -back days of uploading. So today we're going to be talking about the Pike Sickle. So yeah, these guys are a very, very aggressive fish. Now, there are many, many, many different kinds of pike cichlids, and really all of how big the tank is, uh, you know, what you put with them, what you feed them, all that kind of stuff, everything kind of plays into the role of what particular pike cichlid you're wanting to get. Now, some of the dwarf pike cichlids, they may only get up to about three inches, and then you have some of the larger pike cichlids, like the red pike cichlids, and they can get, you know, over a foot long. So it all depends on what particular pike cichlid you're talking about. Now I have one of the in-between size ones. Now mine is the black line pike cichlid, one of the more common ones, and honestly one of the more peaceful ones as I've learned. I've actually got mine with some, you know, pretty peaceful and smaller fish. I've got him with two little quarry cats, a little blue ram cichlid, uh, two angels, and some acaras. And he's doing really, really good with them. He's been in there for over a month now. He's grown, you know, quite a bit. And uh, yeah, he's, he's done really, really good with him. And I've only seen, you know, a little bit of nippy nippy here and there just because he's been really hungry, you know, in those cases. But other than that, he's been a really peaceful fish in there, honestly. The big thing with pike cichlids is just keeping them fed really well. If you keep them, you know, fat all the time, I mean, they're going to be a really, really nice, cool fish in the tank and not really going to bother anybody. To a degree. That doesn't mean you go and, you know, put guppies in the tank with them, but, you know, put them with fish that, you know, are pretty suitable with them. Which goes into the thing of what pike cichlid are you, you know, wanting to get. So let's say you're wanting to get one of the dwarf pike cichlids. These guys are pretty peaceful, honestly, and you can keep one of the smaller South American fish. Now, pike cichlids are a South American American cichlid, so it is better to keep them with South American fish. The black line pike will get about seven to eight inches or so, so my guy right now, he's about four inches, so he's a little bit over halfway grown, uh, you know, so he's gonna do a lot more growing, and as he grows, he's gonna get a little, a little more aggressive, and eventually I'll have to move him out of the tank that he's in right now, because eventually he's gonna, you know, probably start going after the fish that are in there. Now, let's say you're wanting to get into one of the more bigger pike cichlids, like the red pike cichlid, like I mentioned earlier. These guys are very, very aggressive. You never to be very very careful with what you put them with these guys are going to require a big tank a very very big tank uh, a full grown one of these guys like I said will get up to over a foot long and I would honestly recommend having at least a 125 gallon tank for one of those guys what do they like to eat well these guys are very very good hunters very stealthy hunters and will kind of creep up on something and then just, just kind of ambush it I've been feeding my pike cichlids some blood worms brine shrimp uh, a few feeder guppies some frozen shrimp you know stuff like that and it's definitely good to switch it up in their diet but you know a lot of natural food is very good for them and of course as they grow what they eat is going to change and it's going to have to become you know bigger food and just more food overall it's good to give these guys a very high in protein food like you know blood worms or some shrimp or tilapia something like that but also you know give them a little bit of live food here and there i wouldn't really recommend goldfish uh those guys aren't really a very good you know live food to feature fish uh, something more like feeder guppies or rosy reds would be better. Now how big of a tank would a full grown black line pike need? Well I would say something about 55 to 75 gallons would be you know a pretty good tank size for them. As for one of the more smaller species like the dwarf pike cichlids you know something about 20 to 30 gallons something like that uh, would be a pretty good tank size for those guys. Now if you're really wanting to get a pike I would recommend something you know a little bit more peaceful and, and a little bit more common just easier to care for. So something like the Colombian pike or the black line pike would be a pretty good option for you some of the bigger species they're just a lot more to handle you know just they just require a much bigger tank and it's really hard to find fish that are good tank mates for them just because of how aggressive and just territorial they are but the more smaller species those guys are just a lot more easier to care for and uh, you can put a lot more fish with them than you can you know the bigger pikes but that is pretty much it a really really cool and interesting fish there are many many different types of pike cichlids uh, it all just depends on what size you know which one you really like and want to get that kind of determines what to feed them you know what to put with them what size tank do they need that kind of stuff now if there's any fish that you want me to do in this series definitely let me know drop a comment down below let me know what that fish is. Anyways, you guys, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.